Yeah, this is um this this story right here. This story right here I'm dedicating to Oprah Winfrey. Yo. Why do you hate yourself so much? Why do you hate the color of your skin? Why do you talk down and degrade the black man before they are even proven guilty? Michael Jackson gave you an interview with him on the whole situation. Michael Jackson was found guilty. For, for money, you bring all them lies on your show to dispute the Michael Jackson guilt. Innocence, brother. And you act like you believe him. To me, that's Cornish behavior, Open Winfrey. Cornish. Don't you think black is beautiful? Don't you love your brothers? I know you was um, molested when you was younger, probably by your uncle or something like that. But that don't, that don't have nothing to do with us as black men. You go with Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby found guilty. I can't say nothing. Then you go with Russell Simmons when he wasn't found guilty. I can say something. And we all know, anybody, anybody with any sense know that Bill didn't do that shit. The girls like to get a high back in the 70s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. That was their thing. Pills. Quaaludes. Even Scarface said it. Another Quaalude that should love me in the morning. Cuban. You know what I mean? Come on. White girls. Black girls. Was it Studio 54? Whatever that studio was back in, back in the day when they was getting all high. And all the clubs on the east and west coast. <coughs> but every time sun comes up with young black men or older black men, you jump on a white, the white people bandwagon and disrespect them. Try to fuck up their life. You know what I'm saying? Talk about them harshly. Yeah, you did things in Africa. You built an all-girl black school. All-girl school. That's what I said. You might did. You might build one for the boys too, but what I said it was an all-girl school. It was a big, beautiful school, but for all girls. Oprah, it's time for you to come out the closet. Are you an undercover lesbian? I'm not saying you. I'm asking you a question. Cause you, you, you're a man eater, a, a black man eater, a black man hater. And I, and I don't get that. There's a lot of good black men out there. They'll jump off the roof for their black queens. Jump from the bullet to save their black queens' lives. And I'm not just talking about. The ones that are related to you or the one you married to. I'm talking about if I see any black woman in distress, I'm gonna put my life on the line for her. Because that's what a king do, that's what a God does. We don't watch our black woman being hurt. But you, Oprah, it's a shame. You jump on the kill a nigga bandwagon quick, but you didn't say nothing about the white boy Kevin Spacey or that philanthropist white boy that killed himself. Was it Harvey Weinstein? A bunch of them, a bunch of them, a bunch of them devils been doing this shit for hundreds of years, but you fixate on a black man. You talk dirty, you kill the black man spirit. You go on your national TV show and you rip the black man a new a-hole every chance you get. So hell yeah, 50 Cent was right for jumping in your ass.
before you before you start talking about the, the, the stuff that's happening in your home and your community, your black community, bring bring light to the shit that these white men be doing for thousands of years, raping and pillaging. Now, I see the R. Kelly tapes. So I know R. Kelly guilty the motherfucker. I know R. Kelly's guilty. I don't give a fuck nobody say that was R. Kelly pissing that little girl. And he should have been in jail for that shit. He's a pedophile. He's a nasty, perverted motherfucker. But you, you just go with the black man. You just go with the black man. That's it. You don't care none of us about nothing. Come on. Out of all the black men that got accused of this, there's only one we know for sure that did it. Because we see video evidence of it. And that's R. Kelly. I see no video evidence of Bill Cosby to drug these bitches. Of Cuba Gun and Julia molesting these bitches, these hoes. But a lot of these black men bring on itself, too. Even when they do, you bring yourself because you're laying up with trailer park trash. You laying up with, with the with the worst with the worst type of white women. Now it's it's it's, it's different type of white women. I'm gonna keep it funky. You got the white women that grew up in the hood. There are a lot of brothers fuck with, because a lot of them, a lot of them do be bad, they be thick like sisters the whole nine. Then you got the lily white ones, they don't come to a nigga unless he got money. And once his brother is tired of that silly white rich bitch and leave her alone, next thing you know, he raped her, he's gay, like Michael Strahan wife, oh he's gay. Once he left her. They go to whole kill a black man campaign. And yes, silly ass fall right into them to the devil's plan. To keep our people separate. First you don't like rappers. Oh then you want fifty get your ass. Oh kind you bring Kanye West to your show, whatever you did with that bullshit. Now you killed Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson loved you. He was close to you. Well, at least he thought he was close to you. He rolled over his grave now. If he hear all the shit you said, all that shit you did and said about him on your show, you had all them little devils, lying, little lying devils up there, killing that man's integrity and character. So Oprah, check your white Hollywood buddies first, the producers and directors. Then get back to the black brothers. But don't get back on black brothers unless you got 100% proof. If there ain't no proof, it's not no guilt. We supposed to protect each other. We handle shit in-house. We won't put that shit out for the whole world to see. That's how black people do things. It's an in-house thing. So let's handle this in-house. And stop being a black man hater, a black man eater. We got enough, enough people don't like us. Enough of them devils hate us. They want to see us in prison. They want to see us dead. They want to, they, they want, they want to give, us, give us lead water. That kill your sperm count. They want to fix the pipes in Detroit, the pipes in North New Jersey. This is killing your sperm count. They they killing off any chance we have to reproduce. But you worried about some shit that's not proven. So Russell Simmons, I salute you, bruh. I ain't see no proof, so you're innocent in my eyes. Oprah, get it together, man. Get it together.